Port Sudan is flooded with people desperate for a passage to safety. Among the crowds are Syrians forced to escape fighting again. You can't imagine what the situation in Khartoum is like. Rockets were shot and you wouldn't know where they would land. This isn't the first war I've witnessed. Since 2011, more than 66,000 Syrians have found a fresh start in Sudan. But recently, Khartoum has become engulfed by violence and bloodshed, leaving many Syrians stranded between two conflicts. We thought we would only stay in Port Sudan for a couple of days before being evacuated to Jeddah in Saudi Arabia on ships, but we haven't had any luck with that. Syrians are currently living on the street. Those who have residency in other countries or in Saudi with a valid passport, the rest of the Syrian families will be directly evacuated to Syria. The UN says 330,000 Sudanese have been displaced inside the country's borders since April the 15th, while another 100,000 have already crossed into neighbouring countries. Others have braved the journey to Port Sudan. Gunshots and explosions have continued in Khartoum and Omdurman between the warring parties, the Sudanese armed forces and the paramilitary rapid support forces, despite a mediated ceasefire. The SAF and also the RSF must follow safe access for humanitarian agencies and their workers to support the Sudanese people. A seven-day truce has, in principle, been agreed from Thursday. Sarah-Jane Bell, ABC News.